Ohio State, the Ohio State Buckeyes, five and zero in conference play. They go seven and one overall, falling in the national championship game to Alabama. The big easy topic is replacing Justin Fields. And while I do think that getting into you know that quarterback battle and you know the aspect of whether it's going to be uh, you know C.J. Stroud as we've assumed and we've had these discussions, Jack Miller started as the number two, but you know C.J. Stroud kind of took it over. And as Bud Elliott has mentioned on here, there's there's just a lot of positivity behind the player who is the number three quarterback in the class behind D.J. Uyunglele and Bryce Young. I kind of want to focus on you know who's coming back and what this uh, depth chart seems to look like, because while the quarterback battle will take a lot of the conversation, because Justin Fields was awesome and we haven't had a quarterback battle since Dwayne Haskins beat out Joe Burrow. That's right. Dwayne Haskins beat out Joe Burrow. Um, then we look elsewhere and what Chris Alave is back and he and Garrett Wilson are going to make the best one, two wide receiver combo in the entire country. And Oh yeah. Jackson Smith, Jigba, Julian Fleming, this Ohio state wide receiver room is absolutely ridiculous. Best in the country. Uh, you look at the opposite defensive line, like, yeah. Uh, Zach, AKA sack Harrison. We're thinking like, maybe this will be a big explosion year for him, but uh, we've got Haskell Garrett an all American interior defensive lineman ops to come back for another season. So my, what the easy question for Ohio State is around the quarterback, but I think that the question that is uh, in my mind the most is this national championship or bust for the Buckeyes because it's almost like they need a Mac Jones, man. They just need somebody who can distribute out there and just be able to get the ball in the right place against the right reads. Defensively, I we might – I'd be curious to hear if y'all have any concerns specifically there. But again, I go around the big 10 and I'm like, who, who, who is challenging this group uh, defensively? So I, I don't know. The, the Buckeyes seem to me to be as fascinating for what they have back the returning players from a team that finished as the national runner up as much as the quarterback position. I, I, the quarterback spot, we, yeah. Okay. If you don't, if you want to talk about concerns, I have the same concern about Ohio State going into 2021 that I had going into 2020. And that concern played out over the course of the season for the Buckeyes. And it was very much evident again in the national title game. The secondary, what is going to happen in the secondary? Who's going to be taking the starting corner spots? I assume Seven Banks is going to have one of those starting spots, but I don't think any of them are locked down and sure things going and i think the same thing could be said it's a safety position so for me this spring yeah obviously quarterback is the big story but the secondary i think is going to be the most interesting battle and that's the one area where we're going to need to see some improvement because that truly was the team's ultimate weakness last year it was not a weakness that kept them from winning the big 10 or kept them from getting to the playoff and i don't think it'll be that kind of weakness again this year i think that this is still your favorite in the big 10 i think that there's still so much talent on this roster that you're fooling yourself if you think any other team's going to win the conference before them and i think that the playoff is kind of you know that's the goal it's if they don't get to the playoff it's a down year but i also think that the national championship is a legitimate goal for this team and the secondary is going to be what keeps them from winning a national championship or helps them finish the job and win a national title so for me this spring i'm looking at the secondary i'm seeing what if any improvements are made yeah i think clearly the quarterback position is going to dominate uh, most of the discussion all off season but I'm totally with you. I feel like the quarterback – now, I, it is concerning that – and you mentioned the other quarterbacks in the class, the DJ Uyunglele and Bryce Young names. Like, those guys feel really, really solid. There's a little bit – we saw DJ play a lot. You saw Bryce Young push Mac Jones in a fall competition. And when he came in there, he looked fine. Like, so you feel like your starter is there. We haven't seen, you know, anybody at Ohio State with experience play. Now, maybe it's plug and play and you put him in there with all those, you know, the talent that he's got around him and it's fine. Probably the case. Every year is a uh, national championship for Ohio State. So I'm on board with that one. It clearly is. There's no team that looks ready to challenge them. Maybe there'll be somebody that'll merge that we don't see coming or, you know, has an outstanding year. But I'm, I'm with Tom. And I, I think it was probably one of the under talked about stories this season was, you know, we talked a lot about teams missing time and missing spring practice. They were breaking in a new defensive coordinator who didn't have a lot of time to work with his players in the spring or even in the fall when it's just 
it was a mess. And this conference probably mishandled this the most because of the start, stop, start aspect of the season. So my question is, where is the, where is the uh, Jeff Okuda? Where is the Chase Young? Where is the um, Damon Arnett? Where is the players or you know, player or players? Hopefully, if you're an Ohio State fan, that are that impactful, that are first round talent on the defensive side of the ball, that are difference makers, because that was a glaring difference in the game versus Alabama. You know, and if that's what they want to do, is not only win the Big Ten, it's got to be going through again the playoffs. And so to me, it's the emergence of those types of players on the defensive side of the ball that they just didn't seem to have this past season. I'm, I'm very confident in this team. Again, I, I would stop short of saying it, it's national championship or bust. I, I do think it's playoff or bust. When, when, when you out-recruit your conference competition by, by the margins uh, that, that Ohio State does, I think you should expect to make the playoff. We've pretty much seen that if you're a one-loss Big Ten champ, the, your chance of getting into the playoff is, is quite good. So can they stumble once? Yeah, and still have a special season. Can they stumble twice? Probably not. You know, the, the early game against Oregon is going to be really important here. I, I would say like the, the year in which we had DJ and Bryce as recruits was the best quarterback recruiting year since the Trevor Justin you know, year. And in that Trevor Justin year, we also had the dude who's now starting at Georgia who reclassified up. I sort of see C.J. Stroud like that, right? He was our number three quarterback in that class. If he had played in any other year, there's a very good chance he, he would have been the number one overall quarterback in that year. He just happened to have two guys who we had, you know, rated as, as hundreds, which, you know, so um, like, like if you look at his actual grade, it's extremely high in, in, in any other year. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty confident in him. I, I'm also confident in, in the pass protection. Ohio State returns both their offensive tackles. They have, is there anybody, like, am I missing somebody? Like they have the best receiving core in the country, right? That's what I, I now, now that Devontae's gone. Top three at the like minimum. Yeah. I mean, Jamison Williams is a good player. And he's going to be have, have to scratch and claw for snaps because you have Jackson Smith and Jigba, and you also have Julian Fleming, right? Who athletically is just off the charts and, and probably will take a step th th this year. I mean, they 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 return their tight end. I my only really question I have written down for them other than QB, which hey, we haven't seen him, so it's a question. I, interior offensive line, but they have bodies and they recruit the position really well. So I, I think they'll, they'll have the right guys emerge there. You know, defensively, you guys covered it corner, 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 man. I mean, seven banks, Ohio state's got a lot of guys on their roster who, who had four and five stars next to their name at corner. The odds say somebody will emerge, but I don't know who's the favorite to emerge opposite of seven. Like we really haven't seen anybody who there's a no doubt obvious guy that's going to be the dude opposite of him. Um, I think the whole back seven last year was, was kind of, you know, suspect at times, to be honest. Uh, and I, I think they're going to be better this year. Well, but here's like, they have in their 2021 class, like 17 of their 21 commits are ranked in the top 200 nationally, but they've got Ja'Kalen Johnson and Jordan Hancock at corner, both of whom were top 100. Johnson's a top 50 prospect. Do you see a scenario in which either one of them look ready to be able to step into a starting role this year? Did those guys early enroll? That's, that's the only, only question I have about that. I need to look, look that up real fast. And I don't think anybody's early enrolled. Oh, they, nobody early enrolled. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say that hurts their chances some. We, we, we do see these guys who get in for spring, you know, really have a leg up, I think. But they have the talent to do it. So uh, especially Johnson, I mean, athletically, he's off the charts. So I, that's why I'm so confident in this team. Like, like if you stack talent like this, I mean, this is like, like Danny could tell you, he was on those Bowden teams. And Steve Spurrier would remark, I don't know how they got the top three corners in the country all to sign, you know, with, with, with the same team. It, it's sort of that same deal relative to the talent that the rest of the Big Ten is bringing in. 